Alright, hello people. I'm the dude, and this is Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. Uh, one of the best games of all time. I'm not going to go too far into detail about that, but it is. It's amazing. I love this game. Uh, new game. This is Max. He's one of the two main characters. He is the male one. There is a female one. Uh, you get to choose your starting outfit. I don't really care. I'll probably go with this one because you have to unlock it otherwise, and I don't feel like unlocking it. So, yeah, we're going to go with the Explorer outfit. Looks pretty cool anyways. And then for Monica, the female main character, this is her unlocked outfit, the Pedo Panther Bikini outfit, which is obviously awesome. So we're going to go with that. Why not? There's going to be a lot of story bits coming up in this first episode. And if you don't like story bits, I guess skip to the next episode. If you do, well, you're in the story bits heaven, so enjoy. Okay, so this is Monica, uh, previously went over, she is the female main character. Uh, the controls in this game are very much like any 3D Zelda game. Uh, you lock on, you strafe around, you can block, you can attack, you can range attack, you can dodge, you can roll, you can flip, stuff like that. Pretty simple. These guys right here are pretty easy, I shouldn't get hit by them, if I do then I'm pretty much failing. Griffin soldier, you has nothing, my friend. No, don't block. No, don't, don't jump backwards. Don't do that. You want to die, my friend. Ooh, okay. No, I know you didn't. Ninja flip. Flip it, flip. Wow, he's dodging a lot. There we go. Okay, didn't get hit once. Like that noted. 48 of 48 health left. There at the end. Then eat some more of my cookie. <laughs> that is a bad guy, by the way. <laughs> we will see him more later. I'm doing fine. So much has happened that I don't know where to start. Well, I guess it's easiest to start at the beginning. It all began that night. Right. That night of the storm. Right. That night of the storm. Nice little trivia tidbit here. The guy running in the background with the goofy hat. He is a side character. He is the first side character that you see during the gameplay. His name is Donnie. We will see him more later. Check this out. I got a ticket for Flotsam Circus Troop. 
Oh, good for you. Your dad's not gonna try to stop you? He said I could go. <laughs> well, you'd better finish your work quick then, huh? Right. Hey, Max, what's that you got there? What's this? Father gave it to me yesterday. Always wear it, he said. It's pretty old. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Well, can I get started? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Gable's vacuum is set up below. Go to it, lad. Leave it to me. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. So that was Cedric, the second side character that we run into during the storyline. Uh, he is a repairman, inventor, shop owner guy. Kind of like Max's mentor, I guess. We're going to go ahead and save over this one right here. And uh, yeah, in the little cutscene, they talked about the amulet that Max just got. Very important amulet. Very important to the story. <clears throat> but anyways, we're supposed to repair this vacuum right here. Let's see, I think the repair tool was in the cabinet in the back. Okay, cabinet in the back. Got it. Right about here, methinks. Yes, that is a wrench. And that is a notebook. Uh, the notebook does stuff. It records side characters and information about them. Stuff like that. Kind of like a journal. Uh, this must be Gable's vacuum. Okay, time to start fixing it. Guess I'll do it later. No, we won't do it later. We'll do it now. Okay, here we go. Ah, this is the Anbar Type 2 here. This is a pretty specialized hose attachment. Oh, I see the problem. <laughs> ha -ha! Well, is everybody ready? Let's have a stoop! show tonight let's make this a night of wonder <laughs> all right all let's get to work uh, really <laughs> let's make this a night of wonder <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so awesome. Wake up, Max. You're gonna be late for the circus. Oh no. It's about to start. Oh, why the heck didn't it go off? Huh? He's gone? Yes, Cedric is gone. We don't know why. He will be back, though. He is very, very important. Oh, this circus. Max was pretty ecstatic about getting a ticket early on. Finally made it here. Let's see what it's all about. See if it's worth all the excitement. So, crazy clown guy, what do you have to say? You need a ticket to go in. <laughs> you need a ticket to go in. I have a ticket. Here you go. <laughs> Yoink. Oh, I can't believe it. Of all the... <sighs> <coughs> a 
Okay, find the boy who ran away with the ticket. Seems simple enough. Check with people in town first. Let's see. Hello, people in town. What do you have to say? Uh, the circus has already started. Well, that's not good. I was planning to go to the circus. Hmm. It's kind of like missing the previews in a movie. Not good. Should we just speak to someone from behind? Good to know. Did you see a little red-headed kid come this way? Nope. You see anything? He headed towards City Hall. Okay. Uh, for those viewers who don't know, that is City Hall right there. It's two archways. So he headed this way. Uh, is anything wrong? Yes, some little kid stole my ticket. I want to go to the circus. Did you see a red-haired boy run by? Oh, yes. Just now. I'm certain I saw him heading that way. Thank you, old lady. <laughs> she just instantly rats him out. She's like, yeah, he's over there. <laughs> Sorry, but I have to go to City Hall. Okay, well, it's right there. Good luck. I'm sure you'll manage somehow. So, yeah, I'm not seeing a red-headed kid. Talk to some more people, see what they has to say. You can really see the moon from here. Press R, yes, first person view. R2, first person. The moon, the two moons, actually. And another small child. Hey, hey, did you see a red haired boy? Me? No, sorry. I see. Found ya. Hey! <laughs> Why does this kid have no pants? Gotcha. He's, he's a boy, but he's got like a dress on with no pants. I don't know if I approve of that. I'm sorry. I just wanted to see the circus just once. You really want to see the circus, huh? Sorry, I promise I'll never do it again. All right, here you go. Huh? Come on, it's yours. Really? Yep. I'll really? Time. Wow! Thanks. Really? Really? You better go now. <laughs> it's about to start. <clears throat> okay. See ya. You're going the wrong way, kid. What? The black hole. No. Past, you might be able to do it. Hurry, the first door is waiting for you. What is going on? Good question. <laughs> right when he picks up the ticket, I hear doodly doo in my head. <laughs> is that bad? I don't know. Maybe I played a bit too much of Zelda. Uh, let's see. Circus ticket. Let's try giving it to him again. Here it is. Hurry up. It's starting. Yep. <laughs> I love the clown's accent. Hurry up. It's starting. Can't 
in cutscenes, when there's a ton of actors on the screen at once, there might be a little bit of lag. Like right there, I think it dropped to like 50 frames per second. I can't really do anything about that. So, sorry. I think it might have actually done that on the PS2 also. I know it lagged, but I don't know how much it lagged. <clears throat> Quite the talent he has there. That man will go far. And that is one serious looking elephant. And those are boob physics. Apparently even the elephants in this game have a 20 foot vertical leap. You don't have to get used to that. <laughs> Everyone in this game can jump like they're half chimpanzee. <clears throat> kind of like that right there. No trampoline, no no ramp, no nothing. She just backflipped 20 feet into the air like it was well, nothing. Well, Mayor, you're certainly looking well. <gasps> well, if it isn't my favorite roasted chestnuts, you thought of everything, huh? What's this about? Oh, hmm, this is good. Indeed, this town's chestnuts are the best. <clears throat> Never really understood this cutscene. Mayor Need is from this town, so why would he be bragging about the chestnuts that got brought to him? He was the one who was talking. Is that the mayor? So, have you found it? Well, not yet. You see... Now, Mayor, are you really trying hard enough? You know what happens if you don't find the stone, <laughs> don't you? Oh, wait, please, I'm trying my best to find it. Please, I need more time. Ah, oh, well, what can you do? But remember, this chance is your last! Are you sure that the stone is in this town? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I can smell it. I can smell it! The stone is in this town! Absolutely! But we turned the mine inside out looking for it. We couldn't find a trace. living the sweet life, eh? Not knowing anything of the outside world, they're lost in their carefree lives. <laughs> With such a pack of ninnies, no wonder they can't find a single stone. <laughs> you can't tell anyone about the outside, there'd be a panic. Then no one would be able to look for your stone. Oh, I know, Mayor Pooh. We'll keep it our little secret. <laughs> Darn! Who 
by you! Max? Run! Hurry! <sighs> Wake up, fools! Did you see it? The red stone around that boy's neck! We found it at last! <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Get him! <clears throat> so yeah, this is Flotsam. Another villain who has an army of clowns at his disposal. And when I say army, I mean army. <laughs> They're endless. Ugly Max, like everyone else, has like a 20 foot horizontal, vertical, every direction leap. <laughs> Still eating my cookies. Hopefully you can't hear me crunching. Oops. Ugh. Well, at least they waited for me. What the hell? They're just frozen in place. Interesting. Okay. Well, I went to get some milk. I guess I'll edit out that part since I don't know how long that was just standing there. Anyways, this is our first combat session with Max. And I've already been hit because I'm failing. I should not be getting hit by you guys. There we go. No, 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 I don't think so. I'm afraid not. We use the spinning knockdown move, why not? There we go. Doodly doo! Wrench became the battle wrench. That's the one I was trying to think of earlier. Omnidirectional. Yes. Everyone has a 20-foot omnidirectional leap. That's your vocabulary word for today. <laughs> All right. Guess this will have to do. Shall we begin then? 
I never thought we already had begun. They sure don't. <laughs> Let you leave here alive. Pendant, you want this? Don't do it! Huh? Max is hallucinating. <laughs> well, what's it gonna be? You can't give it to him. It's too important. Max, your imaginary friend Hand says don't it do over! it. No! No, I won't! Well, if it's going to be that way, then die! Um, no. I think I'll go ahead and live. <laughs> Living's fun. Dying, not so much. scared then but in a way it was really fun I mean every boring day had been just the same for me but this this was the beginning of a real adventure
Okay, so nice little musical number over. Back to the story. Donnie is so proud of this place. It's a sewer, Donnie. <laughs> I mean, thanks for saving me and all. You know, you're a pal, but <laughs> you live in a sewer. Uh, anyways, uh, talk to Donnie and the story will continue. You might want to save your progress. Yes, I might want to, hadn't I? Let's go ahead and do that. Memory card 2, channel entrance, yes. So yeah, we are through with the extensive story sequence at the start. Uh, the next episode we will be in the dungeon, the underground water channel. Uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.